16, Bob Donwin scorches into the first turn. One, right, one win and a second, I think, to his credit so far this afternoon. He's leading from Dave Mears. Dave Mears, hot foot after him as we go down there. Back to Dave Mears, Gareth Hickmont, Lee Barthes, Connor Locke and Brian Cornelius. Back to the front line. Dave Mears is there waiting to start the opening drive. Put in the corner by Bob Dolman. Dave Mears is there waiting to start the opening drive. Put in the corner by Bob Dolman. Find a space between the bottom of race 23 and the top of race 24 and right. First, number 16, Bob Dolman. Second, number 19, Dave Mears. Third, number 17, Gareth Hickmont. Fourth, number 65, Lee Barman. And number 11, Connor Locke. And number 48, Brian Cornelius. The winner's time was 1 minute 35.38 seconds. From the top, 16, 19, 17, 65, 11, 48. 1 minute 35.38 seconds. On now to the 500cc sidecars. Scott Dunn and S. Goodwin, Sean Harvey, Danny Hogg, Dan Berwick, I didn't know, I'll find out in a minute, Wayne Yeldham and Kira Southgate. 1, 2, 3 is not Paul Moorcock, it's Ant Goodwin and G. Coleman. And number 9, Mitch Cotton and Natasha Barfit. That's your lineup for race 24. Mark Hopkins is the man with uh, Dan Berwick. Mark Hopkins. That's your line up for race 24, 500cc sidecars on the line now. Number five it is that gets down to the first turn first, Wayne Yeldham and Kira Southgate. And Sean Harvey is in hot pursuit. All happening down there on the first corner, but in four hours. <laughs> 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg in the lead. From Wayne Yeldham and Kira Southgate in second. Then Mitch Cotton and Natasha Barbett. Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins from Mitch Godman and Natasha Bartlett. Not done for them, it's not coming out, that's it. I'll get myself straight in a minute. On the last lap goes 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Holt from 
Dan Berrick and uh, Mark Hopkins from Mitch Gordon, Natasha Bartlett, and Goodwin. Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. Dan Barrick, Mark Hopkins. Mitch Gordon, Natasha Bartlett. And Goodwin G. Coleman. And number five, Wayne Yeldon and Kira Southgate bringing up the rear. Race 24, the official result was a win by number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. In second place, it was number 68, Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins. In third place was number 9, Mitch Gott and Natasha Bartlett. In fourth place was 1, 2, 3 and Goodwin and G. Coleman. And in fifth place was number 5, Wayne Yeldon and Kira Southgate. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 38.42. From the top, 72, 68, 9, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1 minute 38.42. No Adam Filmer, I'm afraid. He's a non-starter this afternoon. And we should have Rodney McDonald, Dave Mears. No, we won't get Dave Mears. He hasn't been out in the 500 today. So it's Rodney McDonald. <laughs> I don't remember seeing Martin Sturgeon. I don't remember seeing Warren Atkinson. Uh, James Peters, James Wells, Charlie Powell should make the lineup. There they are, four of them. Here they come, hurtling down the straight. It's Charlie Powell that gets down the first turn first. Roddy McDonald right there with him. Roddy McDonald goes through on the inside. Charlie Powell finds back on the outside. It's tight stuff to come out of that corner, but Charlie Powell wants to leap to the bounds. Charlie Powell is going for him. Roddy McDonald is second. Then James uh, Peters, and then James Wells. Well, that was well. 92, Charlie Powell leading from Rodney McDonald in second. And James Peters, then James Wells. Two at the back of the own side of that. Round they come. Then it's Charlie Powell and James Wells. Then James Wells. Then James Wells. Then James Wells. Charlie Powell and James Wells. At half distance from Rodney McDonald. From James Peters and James Wells. Last lap flag is out. Charlie Powell is scorching round. Takes that last lap flag. He's got one lap to go to get the win in this race. Bobby McDonald in a good second position. Sitting back and scoring good points from James Peters in a good turn. And James Wells is scoring. And Charlie Powell puts it down, coming out of the corner. Unfortunately, he's bumped into one of those posts. Well, they come in, Roger McDonald's going to the down. The red flag is down. The race being stopped in the interest of safety. And the first aiders are on their way over. That's good to see Charlie Powell's up and he's uh, actually running with his machine now to score the points in the uh, And this is the uh, 500cc solo result for race 25 A win there for number 14, Rodney McDonald Second place to number 45 James Peters, and in third place, number 85, James Wells. No time due to the race being stopped in the interests of safety. We'll do that again. 14, 45, 85, no other finishes, and no time 
due to the fact that rice was stopped before the checkered flag. Here we have race 26, Lee Barbit, Aaron Pease, Georgie Wood, Paul Hurry, Jay Kinnears, Gareth Hickmott, and Jack Nelson, a non-starter. Let's see how we go on this one then. Riders coming to the line then for race 26. Off they go. Down the first straight, Georgie Wood gets away first. Gareth Hickmott in second, then Lee Barbit, Aaron Pease, and Jay Kinnears. No full hurry in this one. Georgie Wood, Gareth Hickman, Lee Barbin, Aaron Pease, and Jay Kinnear. Gareth Hickman has got his topping on the far side. second and Aaron Pease for third. Race 26, race 26. A win there for 96, Georgie Wood. Second to 65, Lee Barbin. Third to number 36, Aaron Pease. And fourth to number 8, Jay Kinnears. No other finishes. The winner's time at 1 minute 29.18 seconds. 1 minute 29.18 seconds. Up right solos, Adrian Hahn, Chris Mackett, Brian Cornelius, make that 175-174, Robin Pilcher, 12, Lee Oakley, Graham Brown and Paul Morphy. Could Graham Hurry come to the commentary box please? Graham Hurry to the commentary box please. Here they come then, the 500 uprights, 122, Graham Brown gets off Meyer. Down into the first turn he goes. With Chris Mackett in second and Robin Pilcher in third. Graham Brown leading. On the top turn, from Chris Mackett in second. Robin Pilcher in third. Four point scoring legs for this class as there are the 250 and the 350. And Chris Mackett takes the lead. Chris Mackett serves the way to Brian Brown. Brian Brown takes it back again. On the inside of that turn. Brian Brown now drifts a bit wide, but uh, Chris Mackett's gone with it. Oh, and Chris Mackett's managed to put it up on the inside. Not quite enough to get there, though. Brian Brown leads. Chris Mackett in second. Robbie Vilcher in third. Dog dash. One, two, two. 
Graham Brown. Takes that last lap flag from Chris Mackett in second. Zoyan Filcher in third. Paul Morphy. 48, Brian Morphy. The upright solo is a win there for number 122, Graham Brown. Second place to number 68, Chris Mackett. Third place to number 174, Robin Pilcher. Fourth place to 55, Paul Morphy. Fourth place to 48, Brian Cornelius. And sixth place, number 2, Adrian Harden. No other finishes. The winner's time at 1 minute 40.27 seconds. That's 122, 68, 174, 55, 48, 2, 1 minute 40.27 seconds. On to race 28, left hand side cars, no Tony Penfold I'm afraid. And we should have 215, Sean Jonas and Glyn Saunders. 113, Mike Downs and Steve Standing. 68, Chris and Russell Berwick. And 93, Jay Busher and Sam Black. Race 28 coming to the line. We've got uh, only three outfits remain. And 93, Jay Butcher and Sam Black at the end of the first turn first with Mike Downs and Steve Standing in hot pursuit and Sean Jonas, Glyn Saunders in third. Great to go and turn by the pits. 93, Jay Butcher and Sam Black leading this one. From 113, Mike Downs and Steve Standing. From 215, Sean Jonas and uh, Lynn, Sta Lynn Saunders. Mike Downs putting pressure on uh, Jay Butcher and Sam Black. Come up that back straight. Both up on the front line and uh, valuable points being scored by Sean Jonas and Glenn Saunders. Two more laps to go. Those positions remaining unchanged. Oh, I see some dust come up there. Oh, 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 the orange bike in the front stop. I wish you believe that's been bad luck. Leading there quite comfortably and the bike has stopped. So uh, the check up the, sorry, the last lap flag goes out for 113. Mike Downs and Steve Standing from Sean Jonas and Glyn Saunders. And our other machine seems to be out with the mechanical grip. Half a lap remaining for Mike Downs and Steve Standing on the big Yamaha. Driver residing at Paddock Wood in Kent. Not too far from here, got a lay in this morning and still made it. 113, Mike Downs and Steve Standing. From 215, Sean Jonas and Lynn Saunders. Race 28, left hand side cars. Race 28, left hand side cars. It was a win for 113, Mike Downs and Steve Standing. In second place was 215, Sean Jonas and Lynn Saunders. No other finishes. The winner's time at 1 minute 54.47. From the top, 113, 215, 1 minute 54.47. Left hand side cars again, 124, Jim Benvold and Dan Bo uh, Dan Dodds, wasn't it? Dan Dodds. Number 7, Owen Bowman and A another. 128, Martin Cuff and Colin Clark. Number 4, Darren Morris and A another. 
and number five, Tom Penfold and S. Collins. Race 29 in the left-hand side cars. Five on the line. Five in the program, that's good. Away we go. A good break. Martin Cuff and Colin Clark get a little one off the line first, but oh, powering on the outside there is Irwin Bowman. But Martin Cuff holds the power a little longer into the corner and puts a few yards between him and Irwin Bowman. They come out of the corner and go down the back straight. Martin Cuff and Colin Clark. Started off by the 500 cc speedway grass track motor, but a little bit of fettling, a little bit of reboring, and she's there. One, two, eight. Martin Cuff and Colin Clark from number seven, Erwin Bowen. Top, top, net forward, and then Colin. Martin Carr and Colin Clark from Irwin Bowman and I another. Oh, Tom Penfold goes out with problems. That's bad luck there for Tom Penfold. Darren Boyd. And Colin Clark taking the last lap flag. One lap to go. Seven Irwin Bowman in second. Jim Penfold and Dan Dodds in third. Darren Morris and they another four. Martin Cup and Colin Clark as they now enter that last turn for the last time. Gets the power on nice and early. Makes now much fast. You can corner with the lightweight machine. There goes the checkered flag. Martin Cup and Colin Clark. Oh, Erwin Bowman, and I another, from one, two, four, Jim Penfold, and Dan Dodds, and number four, Darren Morris, official result in a moment. Race 29, left-hand side cars, race 29, left-hand side cars, a win there for number 128, Martin Cuff and Colin Clark. In second place was number seven, Erwin Bowman. And A another. In third place was 124, Jim Penfold and Dan Dodds. And in fourth place was number four, Darren Morris and A another. The winner's time at 1 minute 47.53. From the top, 128, 7, 124, 4, 147.53. Riders on the line then for race 30. Three of them. Billy Penfold a bit late leaving the line. He's trying to give him a head start. Will Penfold and Ricky Pay get into the first turn first. Lenny Moore and Carbell in second. And uh, Billy Penfold, Martin Bokes in third. Oh, Billy Penfold has scored you fast. Uh, Will Penfold on the front line. Will Penfold and Ricky Pay with two rides and two winners to their credit. They're on their way to the third. Will Penfold, Ricky Pay, Billy Penfold, Martin Bokes, and Lenny Bora, Carl Bell. Around the pitch turn they come then. 22. Will Penfold. And Ricky Pay at half distance from Billy Penfold and Martin Bokes <coughs> and Lenny Bora, Carl Bell. <laughs> we have 22, Will Penfold and Ricky Pay. Billy Penfold, Martin Bokes, and Lenny Bora, Carl Bell. Space themselves out quite nicely. Make sure you can go for Penfold and Ricky Pay. Power out of 
that turn. Take the checkered flag. Three rides from three, three wins from three rides. It is one, two, five, Billy Penfold and Martin Folks, and Lenny Bora. And Carl Bell hot on the pace, even though he's had quite a long layoff. Their official result in a moment. The result of race 30, the left-hand side cars, was a win for number 22, Will Penfold and Ricky Pay. In second place, it was number 125, Billy Penfold and Martin Bokes. And in third place, it was 129, Denny Bora and Carl Bell. No other finishes. The winner's time at 1 minute 48.26. Well, From the top, 22, 125, 129, 1 minute 48.26. Race 31 is right-hand side cars. We get Mick Stace and Jay Edwards, Stephen Blythe and Jay Smith, Rob Wilson, Terry Saunters, Colin Blackbourne, Carl Pugh. Up the start of the orders, and away we go. Down first, Mike Blackwell and Carl Pugh in second. Coming out of that lane, and that's uh, there by Dig Dog Lane. We've got 24, Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders. Hotly pursued by 25, Colin Blackwell and Carl Blythe. Race 31 then. A win there for number 24, Rob Wilson and Terry Saunters. In second place was number 25, Colin Blackwell and Carl Pugh. And in third place was number 18, Mick Stace and Jay Edwards. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 22.68. That's 24, 25, 18. 1 minute 22.68. Right hand side cars again, race 32. We look for Rob Wilson, or Robbie Wilson as we call it, Robbie Wilson. With Bradley Steer, Simon Beaney with Gareth Bemister, Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley, and Mark Cosser, Carl Blythe. Mark Cosser and Carl Blythe, two rides and two wins under his belt already, as he comes to the line for his third qualifying and third and final qualifying ride. Only four races between us and the interval. Time for a cup of tea. Time to go to the bar. Get yourself a well-deserved lager. And uh, you could go to the caterers or the grasser store and go on the tombola and win yourself a prize. Plenty of things to do in the interval.
Race 32, the right hand side cars. Race 32 in your program is under starters orders and away, here they go. Oh, Simmons, Kevin Woodley in third, and Gareth third. Uh, we're on way around. Simon Beanie and Gareth Bemister in fourth. Wheelies as well from Mark Cosser as he goes round. Making a little bit of dust flight. Round they come. Not too long a range of what I feel. Here we come, 37, Mark Cosser and Carl Blythe. From Robbie Wilson, Bradley Steer, Miles Simmons, Kevin Woodley, and Simon Beanie, Gareth Bemister. Down there, putting the power down early. We've got uh, the last lap flag out for Mark Cosser, Carl Blythe, Robbie Wilson, Bradley Steer, Miles Simmons, Kevin Woodley, Simon Beanie, Gareth Bemister. Going for it, there's the checkered flag, Mark Osser, Carl Blythe, 42, Robbie Wilson, Randy Steer, Carl Simmons, Kevin Woodley, 76, Simon Beanie and Gareth Bemisser. Official result, in a jiffy. Dare I say that's the fastest time of the day? I'll say it anyway, I could be proved wrong. But, the right hand side cars. Race 32, a win for 37, Mark Cosser and Carl Blythe. In second place was 42, Robbie Wilson and Bradley Steer. In third place it was number 9, Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley. And in fourth place, number 76, Simon Beeney and Gareth Bemister. No other finishers. The winner's time, I believe the fastest sidecar time of the day, at 1 minute 20.49 seconds. 1 minute 20.49. That's 37, 42, 9 and 76. 1 minute 20.49 Race 33, the right hand side cars Coming out next is Pete and Steve Colvin Mark Warren, Kieran Ivey Trevor Heath, Keith Bonner who's going extremely well this afternoon for a newcomer on the side car, on the right hand and it's number 8, he will off in at Nicky Owen and number 8, Gary Shearer, Sam Bond An interesting lineup for race 33 down to the first turn first. They've made a cracking start and they're getting away with it. Got the power on early out of that corner. Gary Shearer and Sam Bond in hot pursuit. Then Trevor Heath and Keith Bonner, then Mark Warren and Kieran Ivey. And uh, we're off in Nicky Owen, seems to be uh, a problem. Oh, we've lost a passenger over the side there. It looks like Kieran Ivey, so I think that's Mark Warren's passenger. No, it's not. Mark Warren's still going. So no, Trevor Heath has dropped Mr. Bonner. That's what it is. Trevor Heath dropped Mr. Bonner. But Mr. Bonner's up and okay. There's Gary Shearer and Sam Bond that lead it from 99. Pete and Steve Colvin in second. And Mark Warren, Keir and Ivy in third. Anyway, round they come there, the checkered flag goes, this is live racing, that's what happens, that's Gary Shearer and Sam Bond for the win, Trevor, Trevor, that's Pete and Steve Colwyn in second, Mark Warren and Kieran Ivey 
in third. Race 33 to right hand side cars was a win there for number 8, Gary Shearer and Sam Bond. In second place it was number 99, Pete and Steve Colvin. And in third place was number 6, Mark Warren and Kieran Ivey. No other finishes. The winner's time was 1 minute 24.73 seconds. From the top, 8, 99 and 2, uh, sorry, 8, 99 and 6, 1 minute 24.73. 191 Trevor Heath and Kay Bonner did not do three from the four prescribed laps, so he's not a finisher. If you're wondering why he's gone round and not been allocated points, he'd only done two from four laps. You need to do three from four laps to be classed as a finisher. Race 33 was 8, 99 and 6, 1 minute 24.73. We're on to race 34. This is the 250s only. The 350s will go in race 34A. So number 14, Carl Bell, I believe will be a non-starter. So we'll get 86, Richard Inwood. 21, Jamie Pantry. Number 6, Gary Cook. And 94, Cle Trevor Clarycoats. With any luck. They've done that on purpose. They gave me a big cream tart and said, eat that, and then the race starts. They've done that on purpose. Looks like Trevor Clarico's leading from 21, Jamie Pantry. From Richard Inwood and Gary Cook. It'll be the way it's gone this afternoon, really, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 94, Trevor Clarico's being pushed all the way by number 21, Jamie Pantry. Then 86, Richard Inwood. And number six, Gary Cook. Gary Cantor's is really good enough for the Barricos under pressure on the front line there. Trying to force him into a mistake. So the Barricos just drift off the inside line and Jamie Bans is right in there. Two more laps to go. The track in superb order, just right for the final. On the uh, start, coming down now to see that last lap flag. It's all tied stuff on the front line, and Jamie Bransby is right in there with his shell. Trevor Clarico's leading. Jamie Bransby moving out a little wider in the track to cut back on the inside on the exit of the corner. Didn't quite work that time. He's got one more beat to him. And he's very, very fast into that paddock for turn. And he's on the outside, and he's put his front wheel in front of Trevor Clarico's. Trevor Carrico squirts the throttle on and will continue down there in the lead and takes the race win. Four rides, four wins for Trevor Carrico, four rides, four second places for Jamie Pantry. Um, there we are, race 34. A win for number 94. Trevor Carrico. Second place was number 21, Jamie Pantry. Third was 86, Richard Inwood. And fourth was number 6, Gary Cook. No other finishers. The winner's time was 1 minute 39.89 seconds. 1 minute 39.89 seconds. We have a 250cc overall result. 
And in first place, with 56 points, is number 94, Trevor Barricos. In second place was 21, Jamie Pantry. Third place was number 6, Gary Cook. And fourth place, number 86, Richard Inwood. A 3.50 hurdle into the first turn, and uh, Bob Dolman gets there first with Dave Mears on the outside. Dave Mears puts his front wheel in front and goes for it. And the fast. 19, Dave Mears just ahead of Bob Dolman. Bob Dolman pushing hard in second place. 17, Gareth Hickmott in third. from uh, Bob Dolman. Bob Dolman's trying to close the gap back up again. I think we're at half distance. Dave Mears can't shake off Bob Dolman. He's got a few yards to three on that top side. Turn the gun now. By the pit's bed. Half that flag is being made ready. Bob Dolman's waiting for the mouth. Bob Dolman's defending greatly his position. We have Dave Mears. From Bob Dolman. Bob Dolman sneaking up there on the inside. Oh, that was tight stuff. Almost shows that front wheel straight. Coming to the last turn for the last time. The second back here made ready. And Bob Dolman tries a long run around the outside. Dave Mears holds the inside. Tight stuff to the finish, but Dave Mears takes it from Bob Dolman in second. Gareth Hickmore consistently third all afternoon. Good ride in from him. And it's number 11, Connor Locke. 65, Lee Bartlett, and 48, Brian Cornelius. Race 34A, race 34A. The 350cc Soto fourth leg. Saw a win for number 19, Dave Mears. In second place, 16, Bob Dolman. In third place, number 17, Gareth Hickmont. In fourth place, number 11, Connor Dock. In fifth place, 65, Lee Barbett. And in sixth place, number 48, Brian Cornelius. Their winner's time was 1 minute 34.22. From the top, 19, 16, 17, 11, 65, 48. 1 minute 34.22. We now have the 500cc sidecars. There's Sean Harvey, Danny Hogg, Dan Berwick and Mark Hopkins, Scott Dunn and S. Goodwin, Mitch Gordon and Natasha Barbett, and Goodwin and G. Coleman. And Wayne Yeldon with Kira Southgate. Five hundred CC sidecars on the line. Away they go, oh big wheelies on the start, two big wheelies on the start, and both are under control and on their way down to the first turn. Wayne Yeldon and Kira Southgate get down to the first turn first. But ooh, 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg are forced to wait in the front. And they think they're going to be on the third place. And you've got third with Natasha Barnley powering around there in, uh, in the second place. Not quite so good at it though, and uh, number five's got him back again. Wayne Yeldon and Kira Southgate from Mitch Godman and Natasha Barnby. Mitch Godman over long up there. Danny Hogg looking invincible on this circuit here this afternoon. As he comes down at half. Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg from Wayne Yeldon and uh, Kira Southgate. Mitch Godman and Natasha Barnby. Last that flag 
Maggie Dell for 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hawks. From number five, Wayne Yelda and Kira Southgate, Mitch Gordon and Natasha Bartlett. Mitch Gordon is seeming to uh, gain a bit of speed. He's just trying to get that second place. Only half of that second The last turn for the last time comes uh, Sean Harvey and Danny Hawks. There goes the chequered flag. Sean Harvey and Danny Hawks take the win. Wayne Yeldon, Kira Southgate in second. And that's wrong. Mitch Gordon and Natasha Bartley got second. Then Wayne Yeldon and uh, Kira Southgate. And Goodwin and G. Coleman. And bringing up the rear is Dan Barwick. And Mark Hopkins. There goes Sean Harvey and Danny Holt, Mitch Godden and uh, Natasha Bartlett, and uh, Wayne Yeldham and Kira Southgate. And then round come, give them all a round of applause, show them some appreciation. They put on a good show this afternoon, they're not very well actually. And that's Ant Goodwin and uh, G. Coleman. And I thought we got one more, but we ain't. There we are then. The official result of race 35 was a win for number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Holt. In second place was number nine, Mitch Godden and Natasha Barbie. Cracking last lap there. In third place was number five, Wayne Yeldon and Kira Selkake. And in fourth place was number one, two, three, and Goodwin. And Coleman. And in fifth place was number 68, Dan Barry and Mark Hopkins. No other finishes. The winner's time was one minute 36. Point four four. One minute thirty six point four four. From the top, seventy two, nine, five, one, two, three, sixty eight, one minute thirty six point four four. We now have, I think, a left hand sidecar B final. A left hand sidecar B final, race thirty eight in your program. And they're away. And they're coming down here and there's number four who has got the Darren Morris has got the start. He has got the whole shot down there. And then it's one one three. No, well, yep, yeah, well it was. This is the B final off of the left hand side cars, race 38. Darren Morris is a little bit allowing the other man to come through on the inside. Can't quite see who the other man is from here, but we will pick it up as they come around this turn, I'm sure. It's 129, Lenny Bora. Lenny Bora from Darren Morris, from Mike Downs, from Sean Jonas. Lenny Bora and Carl Bell then leading. Darren Morris and then A another second place. Mike Downs standing. 215, Sean Jonas and uh, Flynn Saunders bringing up the rear. Half distance, Lenny Bora is running away with it. From Darren Morris in second. Steve Standing, uh, wrong one round. Mike Downs and Steve Standing. Sean Jonas and Cliff Saunders. Remain the same. Quite nice in space to park. Last lap flag is ready for 129. Lenny Bora, who looks like he's going in the A final on his first meeting back after about 20 years. Then we've got number four. Darren Morris, and we've got 113, uh, one, Mike Downs and Steve Sanders, and 215. Sean Jonas and Big Saunders. This is the share wheel a little as he comes around the corner in the old fashioned style, and there we are. 129, Lenny Boyer goes through to the A final with Carl Bell in the chair. Then Darren Morris and his uh, passenger, and 113. Mike Downs and Steve Standing, and 215, Sean Jonas and Glyn Saunders. Uh, official result for you in a moment. Race 38. Don't put it in race 36 like I would if I was out there where you are. You have been warned. Race 38 is the third one down. The win to 129, Lenny Bora and Carl Bell. In second place was number four, Darren Morris and Day Another. In third place was 113, Mike Downs and Steve Standin. In fourth place was number 215, Sean Jonas and Glyn Saunders. No other finishes, 
and due to a stopwatch malfunction, we don't have a time for that one. Due to a stopwatch malfunction, we don't have a time for that one. So from the top is 129 4 113 215. No others. This is race 39, the right hand side car B final, or semi final as it says in the, uh, in the program here. This is the right hand side. Don't forget the winner goes through to the A final. That's what this race is all about. The winner goes through, and second place is the first loser. Here we go. Right hand side cars. 191, Trevor Heath. And Kay Bonner. 99, Pete and Steve Colvin. Six, Mark Warren, Kieran Ivey. Number nine, Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley. 76, Simon Beanie and Gareth Bemister. And number 30, Stephen Clive. Off the line they go then. Miles Simmons and Peter. Into the whole shot, into the first turn. No prizes for this one. It's on the left hand A final, remember? 25 quid for the first man past me. And the red flags are out and the race is stopped. Number 99, Pete and Steve Colvin. Number 6, Mark Warren and Kieran Ivey. Number 9, Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley. Number 76, Simon Beanie and Gareth Bemister. And number 30, Stephen Clive and Jay Smith. That's your lineup for race 39. Right hand side car, B final. Winner goes to the A. Off we go. Race 39. Again, Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley are on the humming shot there now for the first turn first. All happening here at Brittenden. Big dog night. Number nine, Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley lead it then. From Trevor Heath and Kay Bonner in second place. All tight stuff here. Jay Smith are in third place. Simon Beanie and Gareth Bemis are in fourth. Problems there. Through a heath goes out. Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley then. No problems on the front line for them. From Stephen Bly. From uh, Simon Beanie. From Mark Warren. <laughs> Last that flag is out. Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley. Looking like they may take their place in the A final. From Steph Blythe, Jay Smith, Simon Beanie. And Karen Lemonson, Mark Warren, Kieran Ivey. Around the last turn for the last time, there's the checkered flag. The man to the A final is Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley. Second place, number 30, Stephen Blythe and Jay Smith. Then Simon Beanie and Gareth Bemister and Mark Warren, Kieran Ivey. Official result for you in a moment. Race 39, the right-hand sidecar semi-final was a win for number 9, Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley. In second place, it was number 30. And Stephen Blythe and Jay Smith. Number 76 was um, Simon Beanie and Gareth Bemister. And in fourth place, number 6, Mark Warren and Kieran Ivey. No other finishes. The winner's time is 1 minute 22.19. From the top, 9, 30, 76, 6, 1 minute 22.19 seconds. Now we should go back to race 36 for the upright solos featuring Adrian Harden, Brian Cornelius, Paul Morphy, Lee Oakley, Chris Mackett, Graham Brown and 174, not 175, Robin Pilcher. Riders on the line to do battle then. Who's it going to be this time? Graham Brown seems to have most of it his way this afternoon, but Robin Pilcher has been stealing some of the limelight as well. Here they come. First man past, past, first man past me is Chris Mackett and uh, Graham Brown sneaking through on the inside to take the lead. Robin Pilcher in third, Brian Cornelius in fourth.
Brown Brown going well, mid-track position there with uh, Chris Mackett tucking up on the inside it's uh, all to be fought for here in the first three runners Graham Brown, Chris Mackett Robin Bilcher Brown by the pit, out of that corner, down the straight, and at half distance is Brian Brown, Chris Mackett, from Robin Pilcher. I think that Robin Pilcher wore himself out earlier on, you know, he's, he's, he's tired. Too much effort in too early. Brian Brown. Ahead of Chris Mackett. The last lap flag goes out. Positions remain unchanged as they come past here. We have Brian Cornelius. They've been hard to bring up the field. On the last lap, the half of the field is back to close the gap on Brian Brown. Brian Brown is at the apex of the last turn. He winds that throttle one more time. Chris Mackett tries hard on the inside, but Graham Brown takes it. Chris Mackett in second. Robin Pilcher in third. And Brian Cornelius. And bringing up the rear will be Adrian Hart. Race 36, the upright solos. Race 36, the upright solos. It's a win there for number 122, Graham Brown. In second place was 68, Chris Mackin. In third place was 174, Robin Pilcher. In fourth place was number 48, Brian Cornelius. And in fifth place was number 2, Adrian Harden. The winner's time was 1 minute 40.07. 1 minute 40.07 That's 122, 68, 174, 48 and 2 1 minute 40.07 seconds This is the 500cc final This is the big one in the solos this afternoon We have Georgie Wood, Rodney McDonald, James Peters, Lee Barker Number eight speech in me again. It's that new boy, isn't it? Jay something. Jay the K. I oh, mean, I can't go back through this program fast enough. Jay Canares, that's him. Jay Canares. Then 85, um, James Wells. 92, Charlie Powell. And 86, Paul Hurry. That's the lineup for race 37, the 500 CC solo final. And here they come. Down the first straight they go, Georgie Wood gets down there first with Roger McDonald and Charlie Powell, then Paul Hurry. Paul Hurry in fourth position at the moment. Side of uh, Charlie Powell, now around the outside of Roger McDonald, cuts back now, Roger McDonald's not very wide. And Paul Hurry is through into second place. He chases Georgie Wood. Georgie Wood leads, Paul Hurry in second.
position. Official result, you in a moment. There goes Paul Howick, give him a good wave. He's put up a good, brave show this afternoon. Waves to his mum in the commentary box, who's uh, just getting over the heart attacks he's just had. There's Georgie Wood, the winner. There's 92, Charlie Powell. He comes third. That was good, wasn't it? Shall we have the result, then? Because I don't got any more coming round. Let's have the result. I like a result. Don't get one very often. Race 37, the result. A win for number 96, Georgie Wood. Second place, 86, Paul Hurry. Ninth, uh, third, 92, Charlie Powell. And fourth was number 14, Roger McDonald. Fifth was number 65, Lee Bartley. Sixth was 85, James Wells. And seventh was 45, James Peters. The winner's time was 1 minute 29.18 seconds. From the top, 96, 86, 92, 14, 65, 85, 45. 1 minute 29.18. The left hand sidecar A final is coming to the line and the competitors are on joint points for first place was 22 Will Penfold and Ricky Pay with 128 Martin Cup and Colin Clark. Joint third was 7 Owen Bowman with A and other and 125 Billy Penfold and Martin Bokes. Then it's 124 Jim Penfold and Dan Dodds and then from the B final making his way into the A final 129 Lenny Mora. That's your line-up for your left-handers. Let's try and get the line-up for the right-handers at the same time. The line-up for the right-handers is 37, 25, 8, 42, 24 and 9. 9 is the missing number. That's Mark Cossa, Carl Blythe, Colin Blackhorn, Carl Pugh, Gary Shearer and um, Sam Bond. 42, Robbie Wilson and, and, and Bradley Steer. 24, Rob Wilson and Terry Saunters. And number 9... Arl Simmons and Kevin Woodley. That's your last two races of the afternoon. Twenty-five pound, don't forget, for the first one past the commentary box, and here they come, here they come. Seven's got it, Erwin Bowman. He's got the twenty-five quid for the whole shot. Ricky Bay with, with uh, Will Penfold, Ricky Bay are right there in second place. Lenny Moore has had a bit of a bad start. He's done no bad. Will Penfold and Ricky Bay pushing hard on Grand Dan Tom in second place. Nice corner around there, made up a couple of yards on Erwin uh, Bowman. Then it's 128 Martin Kelf and Colin Clark. Then 124 Jim Penfold and Dan Dodds and Billy Penfold and Martin Bokes. And then he bore a stop up the top end. Power in that corner and Will Penfold is right there and pushing. And pushing on the inside is Colin Martin Cuff. I'm glad they got the whole shot on that one. There we go. Will Penfold's made it through to the front. And Colin, uh, Martin Cuff and Colin Clark's followed him through. As Erwin Bowman gets pushed back to third place. Down they go, the back to place. The last lap flag is coming out this time. Will Penfold and Ricky Bay have made it to the front, but Martin Cuff and Colin Clark are coming furiously hard behind them. Oh, it's going to be a tight one, I feel, here. We've got one more lap to go. It's Ricky Penfold. Ricky Penfold, no. Willie Penfold. <laughs> Willie Penfold and Ricky Bay. He tried doing this job at this speed. And Marty Cup and Colin Clark are looking very dangerous on the inside there. They can take it. It's Will Penfold and Ricky Pay that have got it half a hand on it. Marty Cup and Colin Clark are following through very close indeed, but it's going to be at the line. Will Penfold and Ricky Pay from Marty Cup and Colin Clark, Erwin Bowman and A. Another. What a cracking final we've had. Jim Penfold and Dan Dodds in only a second meeting back from a very long retirement and he was uh, 
third at Maidstone the other week and he is fourth here. And there's Billy Penfold and Martin Vogue's completed race distance. Official result for you in a moment and just a right hand side car final to go for the mixed deer trophy. Don't forget that left hand side car trophy has the John and Bob Penfold trophy on it. So all to fight for here. Give him a round of applause, they did well. That man done well, couldn't quite hang on to it, but he did well, and that man's done very well. After such a long retirement, a fast comeback. And here's Billy Penfold and uh, Martin Boats, and I did ask him the other, other week how many years he'd been going, and now I can't remember. Something like 26 or something, I don't know. Anyway, there we are. Race 40, the left-hand side car final, the winner was 22, Will Penfold and Ricky Page. See, I can do it when I go slowly. In second place, it's 128, Martin Cuff and Tommy Clark. In third place, it's number 7, Irwin Bowman and Ray Arthur. In fourth place, it's number 124, Jimmy Penfold, control 129, that's my right in the block of 9 there. 124, Jim Penfold and Dan Dodds. And in fifth place, it's 125, Billy Penfold and Martin Bowes. The winner's time at 1 minute 56.56 seconds. From the top, 22, 128, 7, 124 and 125. No sixth finisher, 1 minute 56.56 seconds. And don't forget, Erwin Bauman gets the 25 groves. The last race of the afternoon, race 41 in the programme. Just after 5pm, we're doing well. The right-hand side car final. The winner will receive the mixed year trophy. Will Penfold and Ricky Pay will get the John and Bob Penfold trophy. Who's going to have the mixed year? Well, our favourite must be number 37, Mark Cossa and Carl Blythe, because they've won every race they've been in this afternoon. 25, Colin Blackwell and Carl Pugh seem to be the second fastest on the points anyway. Then it's 8, Gary Shearer and Sam Bond. Then it's 42, Robbie Wilson and... Um, Bradley Steer, 24 Rob Wilson and Terry Saunters and number 9 Miles Simmons, Kevin Woodley. Almost any one of them could take it. Only one of them can have it. A favourite has got to be Mark Cossa. I think the next man in line is 24 Rob Wilson um, and Terry Saunters because I think they'll be more up for it than the others. Colin Blackbourne will certainly be in with a shout. It's all to fight for in race 41, the right-hand sidecar final. The winner will receive the Mick Steer Trophy, which I'm told is outside the caravan already. I don't know where the John and Bob Penfold Trophy is. Could the marshals remain in position after this race, if you can hear me? I know it's very difficult to hear in the centre, believe it or not. But could the marshals remain in place? There is going to be somebody wanting to do a sidecar practice at the end. Marshals, remain in your positions, please. There is going to be a late practice after this race. Race 41, the big one, chaps, the last one of the afternoon, the big one for the right-hand side cars. It's on the line now. The last man is just coming into line. Place your bets. Anything can happen, this is live, it's not pre-recorded. All the mistakes on this microphone are mine. I'll make it off. Off they go then, they're on the first straight. Going to get the whole shot. Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders, I said they'd be up for it. And already they've got quite a few yards between them and the second place member. They've gone very wide and Colin Blackbourne's coming up. Colin Blackbourne's close to Rob Wilson. Mark Hosser down in third place at the moment. Robbie Wilson in fourth, then Miles Simmons. And then Gary Hewitt and Sam Bond bringing up the field. Colin Blackbourne is keeping Mark Hosser at bay. If they can hold Mark Hossa back long enough, perhaps Will Wilson can win the race. We don't know what's going to happen here, but Mark Hossa's through. Mark Hossa is through into second. 
We've got Rob Wilson leading. We've got Mark Cossa chasing hard in second place. We've got a race on our hands here. Rob the gap. He's getting closer to Rob Wilson. He's right up on the inside. Rob Wilson's not going to let him have it just like that though. He's going to make him fight for it. One lap to go. This is it. The big one. Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders. On the outside, Mark Hosser comes through on the inside. Mark Hosser's taking it. Mark Hosser. It could all happen. It could not happen. Here they come. The favourite. He's going to take the trophy. 37, Mark Hosser and Carl Bly from Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders. Tommy Blackmore and uh, Carl Hugh. Robbie Wilson and Bradley Steer. Miles Simmons, Kevin Woodley and... Bringing up the rear, Gary Kachira and Sam Bond. What a race. Show us some appreciation as they come round, ladies and gentlemen. That was a hard fought race. And the best man won in the end. He's had four rides this afternoon and four wins. Three in the qualifying heats and one in the final. But that was the only one he needed, really. But there you are, Mark Cosser and Carl Blythe. Another trophy on their mantelpiece. Rob Wilson and Terry Saunders always smile and he knows he'd give it his best shot. Colin Blackburn and Carl Pugh. Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley. Then Robbie Wilson and Bradley Steer. They tell me that's a BMW. And I can't see it because it's got a big plastic cover over it. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? And there's number eight, Gary Shearer and Sam Bond. Lovely to see them in the final. Nice to see some young blood coming through. There we are. The result then of the right-hand side car final of the last race of the afternoon was a win for number 37. Mark Cosser and Carl Blythe. In second place, it was number 24, Rob Wilson and Terry Saunters. In third place was number 25, Colin Blackburn and Carl Pugh. In fourth place was number 42, as Robbie Wilson and Bradley Steer. In fifth place was number 9, as Miles Simmons and Kevin Woodley. And in sixth place, number 8, Gary Shearer and Sam Bond. The winner's time was 1 minute 20.74 seconds.